Hey guys, Drew here, back with another video, doing another growl review as usual. And this will be the last GFR of the 2022-23 season. The Growlers lose in double overtime, 3-2 to the Florida Everblades. The Everblades take this series four games to two. They beat the Growlers in six times, um, in six games, I mean, for the first time since they played each other in the Eastern Conference Finals. And unfortunately for the second time, in my GFR season, the Growls have been eliminated for the Florida Ever with the Florida Everblades. Now, the Growlers were a different team in this game, I got to say. Game 5, the team didn't look that good. Even Game 4 wasn't that good. This team wanted to win in Game 6. Florida Chess wanted to win as well, and they just found a way to push past the Growlers. Luke Cowan was unbelievable, made 43 saves in this one. Sounds like he knew that Florida just couldn't score on him until they did in overtime. I'll mention the goals for the Growlers, and then I'll mention um, a few recaps uh, for the season, and um, talk about the Growlers season, and maybe say something at the very end. But um, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Pavel Gogolev scoring for the Growlers, only fitting for him to score one of the goals in the last game of the season for the Growlers. His, that was his eighth of the playoffs. Gogolev, I don't think he'll be back next year. He's probably going to meet with the Toronto Marlies or another AHL team. Might go back to Russia to play in the KHL, the top Russian league. Gogolev is just too good of a player to be in the ECHL, I gotta say. Um, if there's, if you guys want to see a video in the offseason, like a Growl's wish list on who would I like to see come back, who may not come back, um, I might do that. And then the last goal of the Growly season goes to none other his first of the Eastern Conference Finals, Tyler Boland. What a goal, guys. Um, Brennan Kapchak laid a huge hit. I don't know who it was on, but then Growlers came down on um, tic-tac-toe play, and a Boland found in the back of the net. One of the plays of the year, I got to say, maybe the play of the year for the Growlers in the playoffs. Sometimes the between the legs goal against Adirondack got to be up there, but that goal for the Growlers was huge. The goals for um, the Everblades, Will Caverly gets one for them, Logan Lambden, and then John McCarron. Of course it's McCarron that gets the OT winner. He got the game winner in the last game, and he gets the OT winner in this one. Came out of retirement halfway through the season, and he scores the OT winner goal to send Florida to the Eastern Conference Finals. Florida didn't seem to sell it as too hard um, since they were going to the Eastern Conference Finals. They might be in danger, though. They're playing the Idaho Steelheads in the finals. I think Idaho got that one, guys. Sorry to tell you, Everblades fans. But Idaho is just a really, really good team. Growlers fired 36 shots on Cam Johnson. Cam Johnson had a pretty good game. I got to say he looked pretty confident and comfortable in the back of the net. Um, And this is just the way it goes, guys, I guess. Um, At the end of the first period, it was 1-1. At the end of the second period, it was 2-2. Two -two. Third period... Still 2-2, two -two. OT, still 2-2, two -two. and that ends in overtime, 3-2. For As I said before, Florida didn't sell it too hard when they scored the OT winner. I was expecting like Florida to go nuts and like jump the boards or something like that, but um, they stayed they pretty cool with it. The fans um, gave the Growlers a round of applause when they were in the handshake line. And now, the Growlers, I gotta say, this year felt a little different from all the others. The ECHL first year... It felt like this team was pretty good. Um, they they felt good against every single team, even when they played the Everblades in the Eastern Conference Finals. They looked pretty comfortable, comfortable. Even with the wall, the wall I tried to make them not feel too comfortable, even injuring Josh Kessner and um, putting him on a stretcher. But the Wilds were able to win that one in six. Um, second year, two, lockout year. Um, Growlers 2019-20 season. That team felt really good. I think that team could have been a really good contender for the Kelly Cup. Um, unfortunately, due to COVID, that series season, um, halfway through the season, got canceled. The next season after that, 2020-21 season, that season got canceled. And then last season, last season the team was good, but I don't think they would have beat this year's team. This year's team was really, really good. Got the most wins in Growlers franchise history. Got the most points in Growlers franchise history. In the playoffs, the Growlers lineup was locked all season. Um, even they had bottom pairing the like Matt Shuttle, Adam Samuelson, those were the only like mad guys on the team, but they were still pretty decent. Um, Samuelson only got one assist with Growlers. But um, I gotta say, which game was my favorite of the season? I'm gonna say 
I'm going to say the comeback against Reading was one of my favorites when Reading won in overtime, unfortunately. But um, that game got to be one of the greatest. When there was a giant brawl against Maine, that was a really good game, I got to say. Um, I also enjoyed the game where they eliminated Reading as well. Didn't really enjoy the game where they defeated Adirondack. Um, they played Worcester, I believe, in a game this season, and the KHS couldn't oh, stop the puck. That game was pretty rough as well. But, um, yeah, um, there was one slump um, in the Growler season, there might have been two, and then there might have been a part of the season where they were absolutely unbelievable. This season, though, I gotta give the Growlers, like, a, I'll give it an A- minus for the Growlers. They probably would have got, like, an A or an A+, plus if they made the finals and possibly winning it. I gotta say, if the Growlers won this OT winner, do you think they could win if they played tonight? I really don't know, because if the Growlers did win in overtime, they would be pretty tired for tonight's game. And, I mean, the Everblades, they'd be coming out mad. Um, but, um, regardless, I don't know what would have happened if you guys had a prediction if the Growlers ended up winning. And maybe, would they have won against Idaho? I don't think so. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know what I'm going to do in the offseason. I'm thinking I'm going to do something similar. I'm not going to post too much in the offseason. Um, maybe if the Growlers make a sign or the Marlins make a sign with a guy who could possibly come down to Growlers. Some guys I can see coming back with Growlers. First of all, Todd Skirving is probably going to come back. He might have a C on his chest next year in a Growlers uniform. Zach O'Brien I may see coming back. Same with O'Brien, though. He had a good season in the AHL. played six games for the Marlins, and he had six points. So there's like a little chance that it'll go to the Marlins next year. Maybe Tyler Bowen will come back to Newfoundland. I'm expecting him maybe to come back. He's 20. He's only 27 when the season starts next year. He's a little older for Bowen. Um, but I wouldn't be too mad if he had joined the team next year. Um, some noticeable guys that may go. I may see, as I said in the beginning, go Gleb may go. Santazzo, um, I'm expecting him with some models next year. Same thing for Solo. Um, there's a few other guys. Tyconic, I don't see coming back. But um, there's a few guys that may come back. Um, that you don't see much. Um, Brandon Kapchak might come to the team next year. We're going to have to wait and see what happens, though. So, that's going to do it for these guys. I hope you enjoyed the season of GFR. I tried really hard to do my best in these guys' videos. I still remember thinking about opening it up here in the studio. It, it's been a good year, I got to say. What a year for the Growlers, and what a year for GFR. This is the first year I ever had a studio. I started off last year, actually, with a Habs flag in the background. You guys have had a ton of support this season. I have 174 subscribers. Never hit 200 by the end of the playoffs. But who knows how much subscribers I'll have when we start this year's um, regular season as they have their fifth anniversary season for the Growlers. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this season of GFR. Even the opening game against Reading, I'm still going to remember the game. Um, it felt like yesterday when the season started, and then I started this. Um, I hope you guys have a great summer, great offseason. The Stanley Cup playoffs are still on. CBL basketball will be on. And the Newfoundland Rogues are still in the playoffs. So if you St. John's fans want to go see your sports team, um, the Rogues are definitely a good choice to go to. So, until next time. That's going to be for the guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you do like this video, you can subscribe. I really liked it. It's going to be hard to end this one, guys. It's going to be really hard to press the um, end button. But until next time, I'll see you guys again for Season 5, um, Season 3 of GFR, Season 5 for the Growlers. That's it for you guys. And I'll talk to you all again next season.